Let's turn back to the campaign trail where Joe Biden has finally mustered up the courage to leave his basement bunker for a few hours. In fact, Joe even left his home state of Delaware today, a rare occurrence for the weak, frail, cognitively struggling Democrat. And needless to say, he was totally overwhelmed. At one point, he confused Robert Byrd with Ted Kennedy. At another point, Joe could not even remember Senator Mitt Romney's name, referring to him as that, uh, that Mormon. Watch this. You may remember I got in trouble when we were running against the senator who was a Mormon, uh, the, the governor, okay? And I took him on. Anybody could, no one's face to be questioned. The, the, the Mormon guy, the Mormon. Hold these truths to be some that all men are created equal, that by the thing, you know, what, you know, whatever, the thing, God, the creator of everything. So that's how Biden's day began, and it only got worse from there. Mr. Joe, 30330, once again, struggling to uh, literally completely promote a campaign website. And by the way, maybe somebody on his staff might want to remind the ever forgetful Joe that he's running for president. He's not running for senator, keeps forgetting, forgets the day of the week, forgets what office he's running for. He's running for president, not senator. Somebody remind him. Take a look. You know, we have to come together. That's why I'm running. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. So vote, vote. Visit iwill.com slash Ohio. God bless you. Uh, can somebody tell Joe... By the way, it's not a real website. And Joe, you're running for president, not senator. And by the way, that senator, the Mormon guy, is Mitt Romney, not some Mormon governor. Now, sadly, what we showed you, that's just from a couple of hours today. Because every ch time that Joe actually leaves the basement bunker and stays out past 10 a.m., well, disaster ensues. Here's a quick reminder. Look, tomorrow's Superstar. Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330. We choose truth over facts. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. The, the, the phone. Make sure the kids hear words. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Donald Trump does pose an excellent strength to this. The, it's not hypothetical. This is pretty serious. By the way, these are way beyond an occasional campaign gaffe, and I am beginning, well, I'm more than a little worried that this man could represent a clear and present danger to this country. He's obviously not capable of leading. He's been hiding the entire campaign, and the corrupt media mob is covering for him. Joe wants to be the president of the United States of America. That would be the toughest job in the world. And at times, Joe doesn't seem to remember that he's even running for president or what state he's in or what day of the week it is. Does anyone really believe that if elected, that Joe Biden will actually be in control of anything? 